anybody in 37 years like him, and mm. it's a great loss. Now at six, the widow of a fallen agent speaking out a day after her husband was shot and killed at a gun range. And tonight, new details as we learn another officer was involved. We're live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Jim Barry. CBS Force Peter Dench joins us live from Hialeah. And Peter, what is the very latest on this story? Well, Jim and Lauren, Miami-Dade police tell us that a second officer was actually involved in the shooting. The widow of the fallen officer told me that she does not fault anyone for what happened at that gun range. She said that he was her soulmate and totally dedicated to his job. He's getting a hero's send-off. Okay. Uh, and um, I'm so proud because he was very dedicated to everything he was doing. Emotional words from Anna Mary Cruz, whose 40-year-old husband, George Arias, a Customs and Border Protection officer, was shot and killed Wednesday while teaching a class at this West Miami-Dade gun range. He was such a great guy, very dedicated to his job. Um, a solid brother in blue, you know. He, uh, he was always there for anybody that needed his help. Um, and he was a great father to our children and an excellent husband and my life partner, my soulmate. When I tell you that he was squared away, he was squared away. He raised the standard for me when it comes to relationships and to, um, I guess, people in my life. I haven't met anybody in 37 years like him, and he, it's a great loss. He loved his job. Oh, my God. He enjoyed that. He, he was passionate about teaching, uh, about, you know, firearms were his thing. He knew the ins and outs of everything. She and her husband met in 2013 and were married in 2019. What did he mean to you and your family? Oh, God. He was my rock. I am chronically ill and I haven't even been able to work for the past two, almost three years. And he was my rock. He was there for me. And now he's not, and I am devastated. Do you have any questions about how this might have happened? No, I know it was an accident. I know it was an accident, and um, I hold no ill, uh, you know, feelings against the person who was responsible. And Miami-Dade police have not said how this happened or if anyone will face charges. They told us they are waiting for a report from the Miami-Dade Medical Examiner's Office. We are live in Hialeah. Peter Danch, CBS4 News.